Today we are learning to think and act like artists. We're learning how to make slide tessellations today, like these examples. A tessellation is a shape that fits together with itself, leaving no empty spaces, like this example or this example. I want you to remember the word tessellation, so we're going to practice saying it together. A, B, C, tessellations. A, B, C, tessellations. A, B, C, tessellations. To make a tessellation, you'll need a pencil, a square paper, scissors, and two pieces of tape. Here are the steps that you need to follow in order to make a tessellation. Step number one is draw a line on the side. Step number two is draw a line on the bottom. Then you carefully cut exactly on the lines. Finally, you slide the pieces across and use the tape to attach them. Let's try it. First, you draw a line on the side. Then you draw a line across the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, just draw something. Like this, start in the corner, and then draw a line across the bottom. Start in the corner, and end in the corner. You could even try to draw something that you can recognize, like this. Don't do this. This will be too hard to cut out with the scissors. Don't make anything you can't cut out. Don't do this. This will be too boring. Make your lines go into the center of the square a little bit more. These are really flat. Don't do this. Don't start drawing your lines in the middle of nowhere. Start in the corner and end in the corner. Now draw a line along the side and a line across the bottom. It might look like one of these when it's done. Do that now and then stop. Our next step is to carefully cut along the lines with scissors. Stay right on the line. Don't do this. Don't cut it up into a million tiny little pieces. You have to be able to put it back together like a puzzle when you're done. Like this. So do that now and then stop. Cut on the lines and then put it back together like a puzzle. Now pick up a piece, slide it across, line it up, and tape it. You shouldn't have a crack of space in between the pieces. They should fit exactly and tape it. Pick up your piece, slide it straight across, line it up, and tape it. If you have extra tape, you can fold it over. And your tessellation is done. Let's watch that again. Pick up a piece, slide it across, line it up, and tape it. Fold the tape over if you have extra tape. Now, pick up a piece, slide it across, line it up so there isn't space in between and tape it. If you have extra tape, fold it back. Now your tessellation is done. You can write your name on it and help a friend if someone at your table needs help. Do that now and then stop. Here is how to trace your tessellation. Take the tessellation and place it anywhere on your paper. Hold it down 
and trace around it with Sharpie. Now fit the tessellations together like a puzzle and trace it again. You won't be able to trace the whole thing this time because it's going off the paper. Just trace the parts that you can trace. I want you to trace it four or five times in Sharpie and make sure that they fit together. It might look like this when it's done. Do that now and then stop.